welcome back my friends to another Fallout 4 video and today I thought I'd go ahead and bring you guys five awesome locations to where you can find a hazmat suit in Fallout 4. Now a lot of people out there kind of ask me about other locations for hazmat suits and stuff like that so I thought I'd go ahead and throw five into one video today and hopefully this video does help you guys out in one way or another. Now as many of you may know, the hazmat or radiation suit itself offers 1000 radiation protection which is actually higher than any other item in the game, uh, I think besides like a full suit of power armor uh, which is like 1050 and then from there I believe you can upgrade the power armor uh, to get even higher radiation protection but in general, in terms of general kind of armor or clothing, this is by far the best in terms of radiation protection and it's a great way to kind of roam around and, and traverse the wasteland in those highly radiation radiated areas. So the first location I'm going to be showing you guys today is one found in the backyard bunker in West Everett Estate. So you can go ahead and come to this location on the map or simply teleport here. And basically, when you first go to the West Everett Estates, there's going to be a bunch of houses and destroyed buildings and stuff, and there'll be a bunch of mutants around the area. You're going to want to go ahead and take the majority of those out. Um, a lot of these houses do have quite a few pieces of looting as well, and uh, that you may be interested in going ahead and looting there. And you'll come across one specific super mutant known as Hammer. Now, he'll be in a house, and once you've killed Hammer, uh, basically, the house that he comes out of, right next to it, you will find the backyard bunker. Go ahead and enter the backyard bunker itself and once in there take a look on the bottom shelf towards the right and you'll find the first hazmat suit location of this video. Coming up for the next location, this one's over in the Cambridge Parliament Lab. So you guys may remember this location uh, for actually holding one of the most unique pieces of power armor in the game, uh, being the Piso Nucleic. But you can also find a hazmat suit on the section C4, once again inside of Cambridge Parliament Lab. So to get here, you want to go to this location on the map and then make your way in to the building. Once you've made your way in there, you should be greeted by Molly, who will then take you on a tour around the building. So just go ahead and make sure that you follow Molly to you know, do everything that she tells you to do. And she'll eventually bring you into a room or a decontamination room where you'll need to actually go into it and she'll open the door for you. Now, once you're in there at this point, you can move away and you can go through the hole in the wall into the main section. Uh, the main section being, of course, here is where you would actually get the piezo nucleic power armor. If you wanna know how to get that and you haven't uh, heard of that yet, I will leave a link to that down in the description down below. But for the hazmat suit, you wanna make your way into the main section. This is essentially where you'll first come across the feral ghouls. And then the southern west room on the first floor or the main floor, you will find on the shelf another hazmat suit as another location in this video. Coming up for the next one, this one's actually the easiest one to obtain in my opinion, and this one's over in Hugo's Hole. Now you'll find Hugo's Hole located right here on the map, but for the video purpose, I did actually teleport uh, to the Dunwich Borers. Dunwich Borers is more of a known location, I guess you could say. Uh, so from the Dunwich Borers, you know, Hugo's Hole is literally just next to you if you teleport there. And uh, you want to make your way through the main area. You'll find a bunch of like traps around when you're going through the main area itself. Uh, you'll also find a turret in like a shopping cart at the very end as well. But I just ran past all of that stuff straight into the main area where you'll find the hazmat suit on top of the table there. You'll also find Hugo himself, uh, as you can see there, pretty much laying dead on the floor. And various other pieces of loot that you can also find in this location. Another location for a hazmat suit, and this one actually has four different hazmat suits uh, that you can find in this one specific location, but this is Marowski's Chem Lab, which is above the Four Leaf Fish Packing Plant. Now, to get here, uh, you want to come to, once again, the Four Leaf Fish Packing Plant, which is right here on your map, and uh, you want to teleport there or just go there once again, you know, from the location, and you want to make your way all the way up the stairs on the outside of the building, and this will take you onto the roof of the building, uh, where you'll have to go down another set of stairs and you'll find like a terminal there and you'll also find a tripwire. Now, there are several ways to do this. I believe there is like a tripwire puzzle at the bottom of the building. If you want to know how to do that and kind of indulge in that kind of part of it, uh, once again, there will be a link to that as well down in the description. But for this video purpose, I just did the easy thing, hacked the terminal on the wall, uh, which you do need master hacking to actually uh, unlock this terminal. And when you hack the terminal, this will unlock the secret door there. Go ahead and enter the plant or the chem lab itself and you'll find four people in there wearing hazmat suits. Go ahead and kill all four of them and of course you can loot all four of them there uh, for their hazmat suits for you guys to actually keep. 
And for the final location today, this one is actually sold by Becky Fallon in Diamond City. Now, of course, Becky Fallon is a clothing merchant who runs Fallon's Basement, uh, which you'll find in Diamond City exactly where I'm going right now. Just go ahead and speak to Becky, then barter with her, and she'll be selling the hazmat suit for a very, very cheap price to you guys as another location that you can get this from very early on. And that, my friends, is a wrap up of this compilation video today. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video or at least did find it helpful. Uh, if you did, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below, guys. Your support, of course, is always greatly appreciated on the channel. As well, subscribe if you guys are on around for top fives and top tens on Fallout. And I'll catch you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace out.